Natural bodybuilding is a joke. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I am Steve Shaw. I had somebody leave a comment in one of the videos where I was talking about bodybuilding. And someone mentioned that natural bodybuilding is a joke. They all look like twigs up on stage. I want to talk about that in this video. Before I do so, if you have any questions, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. So anybody that's been to a natural bodybuilding show can quickly, quickly discern that there is a huge difference between the natural bodybuilding realm and the enhanced bodybuilding realm. There's a vast difference. The person that left the comment mentioned that the natural bodybuilders look like twigs. They do. Here's the issue. Here's the problem. This is a problem that I found, and this excludes, this excludes the people that are generally naturally lean, like the young guys that are just lean and can eat all day long and still have six-pack abs. So those guys aside, for the average schmo like me or like you um, who wants to get into bodybuilding and is not enhanced, one of the main issues is the leaner you try to get, the harder it becomes to hold on to muscle mass. When you are using androgens, when you are using steroids, when you are enhanced, it is much easier to hold on to muscle mass as you are cutting. In addition to this, the enhanced lifter is using chemicals that will help him, that will help keep his metabolism up, that will help rip through fat. It's just a completely different ball game. So for the natural, for the natural who say 190, 200, 210 off season and wants to cut for a show, the closer he gets, the lower down, the lower he gets in body fat, the harder it is for him to get ripped. It really becomes a science at that point. You really have to learn your body. And you see a lot of novices in bodybuilding on the bodybuilding stage, natural bodybuilding stage, who are really don't look like they're in that great condition. Either they get really lucky and get ripped uh, just because of genetics or metabolism or whatever, or they just it it's just going to take them time and time and effort and effort to kind of refine the process and be able to maximize muscle while getting lean. So the point I'm making this video is very simple. Not I don't want naturals to get discouraged by looking at a natural bodybuilding contest. Um, you can be at 10 or 12 or 15 or even 20% body fat, uh, have a lot of muscle mass, and still look really good as a natural. Do I think, like the, let, let's be real here, the average natural on stage competes at 156 to 175, maybe 180 to 182 if they're tall or if they're in the upper echelon. That's what they compete at. If that's what you want to walk around all year long as, as ripped, that's the weight you're going to be at. And if you're walking down the street, I've, I've talked with many naturals who are in that rip stage, ready for contest ready, and people didn't even know they were bodybuilders. You couldn't even tell they were bodybuilders with a t-shirt on. So that is a struggle. And I'm not trying to dissuade anybody from pursuing that. But I just want you to know that if you are a natural and you want to be super, super lean, that's what you're going to face. It's going to be harder to maintain muscle mass. And really, you're, most of us just aren't going to look like mass monsters walking around at 8% body fat as a natural unless you're a genetic freak or if you've mastered the dieting uh, end of things. But if you're a natural and you want to pack on that muscle mass, in my opinion, it's just better off at hanging at 13, 14, 15, even 18% body fat. I hang at 20% body fat. I like the way I look. Um, and I, I don't like to look like a twig. I don't want to look like a twig in public. It's not my goal personally, and I'm not putting down anybody that has that goal. 
but I just want to present a realistic view for naturals that if you want to have that super, super, super ripped physique, you have to understand that it's going to be very difficult for you to be super ripped and weigh anything more than about 170 to 175 pounds. So yes, there's a huge difference between the natural world and the enhanced world, but this shouldn't dissuade you from you know, trying to pursue your personal goals. Naturals will never be mass monsters. That doesn't mean they can't hold on to 10 to 12 to 15% body fat, hang around the 200 to 210 pound range or whatever it shakes out to be, and still look athletic, fit, um, and you know, just darn healthier than, in my opinion, they look healthier than the 158 to 162 pound natural who's just tried to shred himself down to 5% body fat and lost most of his muscle. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.